Hello and welcome back in a shout of the canon. I hope you enjoy my interactive horror stories. Today we're doing the fourth one, Even Beneath the Ground. You are the goth of a university, student with no friends. You join a school trip to a lake and the forest near it. If you decide to a wonder if the forest at night you will find a bare footprints. Those are coming from a black hole with a ladder. Will you descend down? You are a young university student who identifies as a goth. You are a lonely person. People think that you want to be alone, but in fact you couldn't find someone you felt affinity. Everyone is so distant from you. Nobody you now listen to the music that you love, like Banaf's This Mortal Coil, The Sister of Mercy, etc. You heard about the university field trip to a lake and a forest around in autumn. There would be a picnic, also alcohol is permitted. You could bring your own drinks. You join the field trip. Not only maybe you could make some new friends, but you also love the nature, especially when it's cold seasons. But of course you couldn't make new friends once again during the two hours, but of both travel, you found out that every other student who joined the trip were already friends. They simply ignored you, you also didn't approach them. As a result, you, all you could do during the bus trip was looking outside the window or play games on your phone while you listened to their joyful laughter. You have mixed feelings about this picnic by a lake. You can feel <coughs> yourself as a part of the joyful youth who are enjoying the nature of the trip. After having a picnic barbecue, they played a game with a ball in which they formed a circle and played not to let the ball touch the ground. Everyone participated in a game except for you. But you enjoy a nature trip somehow. As you said before, you love the nature. You took a picture of the lake with your phone. You don't plan to post the pictures anywhere for. And there is a huge forest near the picnic area. You have always found a peace in a garden of the forest. After the sunset, people began of the light camp. Fire and a drink. People around your age generally prefer beer, but you don't like it. You feel overfills your stomach and causes nausea after two cans. Instead, you prefer stronger drinks. Today, you brought a bottle of red wine and a wine glass. They gather around the campfire while you drank your wine alone, away from them. A handsome guy brought his guitar from a booth and began playing it around the fire while you have finished your second glass of wine. Campfire and moon illuminate the darkness, sun already has set. There are about five hours of the picnic and, and you will lo be going back to the city with the buses. He is playing calming songs, you might be joining the group. But you also feel a strong urge to have a walk in the dark in the forest. You approach the group, two girls notice you open a space for you to sit between them. One of them is a blonde otter has long black hair. They wear colorful clothes contrasting with your black outfit. How are you? Blonde girl says we are fine. They never say anything else nor ask you how you are. What are your names? The one with the black hair says we have boyfriends. I only ask your names. You're trying to so hard, aren't you? The blonde says and they both laugh. Fuck you, I try to be nice and leave them. They don't like what you say, but they don't react either. They skip sipping their beers as you leave them. You can stay with them, with the other students, or go to a forest. I think this time I'm gonna go to a forest. You stand up and wander away from the picnic. You feel the call of the dark forest, so you walk along the path into the forest. The trees are high and still green. Maybe they stay green in all seasons. You don't know. Your field is not biology. The soil is wet and moody. 
It must have rained before your groove arrived to a lake. You leave boot prints on the soil as you walk. There are no clouds in the sky. Full moon and stars illuminate the forests, but that's not enough for your eyes into the flashlights of your phone. There is an app for it, too. You can't clearly see, but notice rabbits in the distance. Naturally, they will run from you as they notice your presence. You begin to think that you might have gone too far away from the picnic. But there is nothing interesting in the picnic area. You somehow feel like darkness on the forest is your friend, the only friend. You continue on the forest path. After a few minutes, you notice footprints on the soil. They seem to belong to a human with a bare feet, probably a man. The prints cross the path. You follow the footprints on the soil. They keep changing directions. You find yourself at an elevation and the prints stop here. Whoever was walking, he didn't leave Prince Fus who could follow anymore. He might leave, have gone anywhere, as he didn't follow a single direction. You decide to go to a place where he comes from. After a long walk, you find yourself at a hall. There is a lid and long rope near it. The man is clearly comes from the hall. His footprints prove it. When you hold your phone's light into a black hole, you see that there is a ladder inside of the hall. You can see an end of hole from your position. As a curious and drunk boy, you feel a strong urge to descend. Nothing interesting happens in the rest of the day. You finish your bottle of wine and you can't make any friends as usual. When the times come, you get on a bus and go back to a city. Yes, it's a lame ending, but at least you're still a life human. Yeah, I think that's the best ending. I don't want to know the other ending is probably bad. If you want, you can try this game and find your other free endings. Probably end up him being dead or everyone has been dead and yeah thanks for watching anyway and hope you enjoyed see you next time and hope you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below tell what you do tell how you think this game should end the story should end thanks for watching